Hey Russell, here's how you pre-populate fields. So for instance, I have a first name field being populated from this parameter. So if I typed in like Bob, then that gets set, right? And then uh, to do that, that, here's the code that you copy and paste, which is from <clears throat> this uh, post. So I just copied this and pasted it into the footer. And so with, with these three lines, I can do first name, last name, and email address. So if I added, let's say, last name, last name equals something. So that pre-populated. So to set company name, you would have to figure out the field name. So I can inspect uh, the, the input field for company. And so the name is company and the ID is company. So we're gonna use the ID in this case. So take company right here and then you can basically just copy that and redo this as just company all lowercase and then if you want the the URL par parameter called company as well you can do that so if you save it and now if I do company equals Joe so now that's that's set so likewise if I wanted to do um, zip code you could inspect that and zip code is actually the ID is zip code with a capital C so let me do that one I'll just copy that guy and then uh, zip code capital C and then let, let's say the URL parameter I wanted to say just zip so I could save that and if I did and zip equals 75023 then there you go so that's how you pre-populate these fields and of course if you don't provide it then it's not going to be you know pre-populated